We've had some days that feel like spring, early summer, but it's a trick. We're going into some more rain and <laughs> clouds and things, but this is a perfect time to do some projects that are kind of urgently needing to get done. I need a safe place to put my cabbage and broccoli that were growing in my room. I have them hardened off. If you're not sure what that means, I'll go ahead and link a video. I think it's actually a short that I did about showing how to harden plants off down in the description below. Anyways, they're ready to go out and I need to keep them safe from these little monsters. Keep getting into them and pecking the leaves off. As well as deer because our fenced garden is still a swamp. I'm gonna use one of the few raised beds I have that is not a swamp this time it has netting you can't really see this is a kale bed but we're gonna go ahead and transform it into a cabbage bed okay we're getting there we're chopping down all of the kale because it's gonna go to seed regardless since it's from last summer my helper's getting all the kale we can find got one whole we've got one whole coat we got the large structure down and then we're gonna keep the small one and i have some plants that need to go in here and the girls are doing some rototilling over here and pest control. Oh, there's one, the other's left. Before I cover it and they can't get back in here. So I'm just going through all this kale, making a pile of good, a pile of compost. I have all this to do still. I'm glad to see the ducks over here. They are gonna be eating the slug and slug eggs, yay. Bought this tool from the store. There's a cabbage butterfly that lands and lays its eggs on the cabbage leaves, broccoli, um, and then when those eggs hatch, they become the little worms that eat your plants up. So since those vegetables do not need to be pollinated, you can cover them with a really fine netting and um, keep the flying critters off of them so that you don't get the worms. So I decided to use tool. It's six feet wide by 15 feet long. And rolls. Let's use some of this green wire. Attach it to different places. That one's a bread tie but most of it's green wire. One roll is not wide enough to cover it, so you have to use two. I had enough to do one section. The store only had the two rolls. It's not beautiful, but it'll work. I'm gonna transplant this bin and then the broccoli bin also. The board here to keep the tool down so that I can get in here and work. So I'm just gonna come over here and move this. Then I can gently pull this up and get into the bed. The regal beauties. I'm gonna go in here. So there it is, completely planted and ready to go. I put this in a week ago, it's looking good. It's, I already noticed the plants are getting a tiny bit bigger. It's crazy how fast they grow. Ground is so swampy. I need to make some more beds like this because we have a really mild winter climate and I could have lots of things growing all year if it was raised. I had two that wouldn't fit and I put them in this wheelbarrow. Ah, bad plan with the rains. Mm. These aren't safe out here. The deer will just come, chomp them off. 